Previously on Alan Previously, all right. Hello, everyone. Dead Eye here, and well, we're um in the last episode of Alan Wake. Last episode of the game, not the last episode of the series. I have no idea when that's gonna be. Don't know how long this is. These are the things that happened up to now. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan he also wrote my biography. Is that Max? I just realized. Jumped. Is that Max? I can get to her now. Kind of I can finish the voice there? I sorry, the name escapes me at the moment. Oh, we're going back to New York. Two years ago. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is when he shit's not working. Look at that real picture of outside. I had a hangover. Yeah. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. <gasps> oh, pills to numb the pain. I swore to quit drinking. Need some glasses. Oh, that fixes my vision. The world looked bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open. God, you look like a brick. Vampire in the sun. Uh, do you want to give them pills? Say the line, Bart. Oh, come on. The pills worked fast. Mm. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Being awake. Being yourself. A message waiting for me on the machine. My book is still here. My freaking golden ballers are still here. Yeah, what you got? You have one new message. Ow. Are you still Where is the answer machine? Oh, it's underneath the wakey, thing. Wakey. Hey, Barry. You show on your TiVo. If Alice oh, Jesus. Reported, Don't bring up TiVo. Party the business. I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that. Hey, yo. Barry, you're not helping. God, I don't want to. Unless it's the, the pink flamingo or whatever it was called. Hey, fuse box, huh? Alright, I guess we have no choice. I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night. The Harry Garrett. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on TV. God damn it. What's live action? Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. <laughs> good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. No. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. Hopefully aren't. <laughs> viewers of your channel. This last book or is all about the death show. of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, it's got to happen eventually. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking? He was man? becoming a yeah, life of his own. <laughs> no, seriously though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will a be departure? a departure from the old for me. You It'll be a horror book. Bastard, always thinking it won't be a depa departure of yourself, because himself is in his book. Uh. Now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, his pain. Not autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. No. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties, and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, this was referenced. Oh, nice. Man. They deserved well, it. That guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. Oh. Well, I 
did sure. also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's this was all fine. Tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for Hey, there's Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. Played himself. At least Does he actually fun. play music? I told myself I could it's just some dudes at the. I didn't say anything stupid. If that's uh. Okay, Devs, I mean. Are you gonna start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Oh God, it's insufferable to be around these two arguing. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. Mm, okay. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some, Some place and peaceful and quiet. Some foresty area. Where nothing bad ever happens. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Right. It's going to bring it back into existence somehow. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. Everyone's like, the fudge are you talking about? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners and it didn't end well. Good point. Okay, ready when you are. Ah, oh, Sarah's all gung ho. Sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take her gun. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Ella. Cooper, close the door when I leave. Barry just follows along with the. Oh. Gun clipping into my jacket. Luck, Al. Thanks, Barry. See you later. All right. When I got on our own again. It was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to turn the light on in the, the world to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. I had no choice. Well, good to see there are other people driving around. Is that the float? That's the float there hitting the intersection just at the bottom of the screen. Weird that it was only possessed for a little bit and then I couldn't fight it or anything. Maybe they couldn't make it work or something? In daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. Jesus, these men are insane. I to chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed there would be no way of knowing I told myself it didn't really matter my course was set mm -hmm. another driving section I guess you know anything back there in that tunnel maybe but I'm kind of over exploring in this game what's gonna happen hey, this car has no actual license on the there's no number on the license plate I mean Oh, get the heck out of here, advertisements. Jesus Christ. What a horrible time for video games. Uh, any reason to stop unless I wanted to change vehicles, I guess. There's something on the table? Oh, it's flashlight. Batteries. The Majestic Motel. Wow, what was the name of the motel? In that video game. That I played. Control. I don't remember. Dang it. I wonder if I can get that game to work so that I can uh, experience the DLC. And there's Pat's number. Some logs. Do you see a manuscript or anything? 
gotta take a quick look around. <sighs> Jesus, geography, topography, whatever. Just figure out. Oh, oh, might be something back here. Uh, I guess we'll take that. I guess we don't have anything else. What is this like extra area? Oh, more torch. Okay. This is really padding the runtime of this game. I don't even my flashlight. But this seems to be the most rewarding exploring this game has been yet, so. Let me hit a five real quick. Yeah, there's not a lot of manuscripts. I didn't think so. This chapter is a short chapter for the finale. That happened in video games. It's no worse. But this is padding, so let's ignore this and get going. Starting the game will give me enough resources when I get to the area of the game where I need them. Though I really do want manuscripts. Uh, quick look around this house. Thermos, though. I don't want to possibly miss out on a collectible achievement. You never know, sometimes it's possible to just, you know, like, oh. I got them all on the first try, I wasn't even trying. Or, you know, you're playing again and you're like, oh, I got 99% of them all. That happened with me and Armored Core. I was going back into doing the achievements and I was literally missing like one frame part and like one weapon part for their respective achievements. End of the line with this. Okay. What happened to this poor fella? Oh, bad guess. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Jesus. Oh, hey guys. Oh, I got the. Got the flashlight now. I think. Oh, I got my big flashlight. That's nice. Yeah, missed. Alright, this thing's coming alive, right? A manuscript page right underground. Hey, bird. How you doing? This thing didn't come alive. I'm surprised. Oh, good. No crap it wants to stop me, it's the antagonist. The so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Okay. At this pacing, what do you think? Maybe two episodes? For the finale? I mean, what's the epic showdown going to be? I'm not an action character. There has to be one, because video games. It's not going to be me sitting at the desk and then roll credits, you know? Ooh, a jeep. Or like an army vehicle. Oh, pfft. Late spawning there, guys. Take that. Quickly look around in case there's a manuscript. Get off of the road, it's dangerous. Nope, don't see anything. Not gonna stop. Oh, here's the motel. Steal somebody's boat. Wait. 
check out this motel. It's lit up a little bit. There's emergency provisions, so presumably something's gonna happen. Here. We don't want to miss it. How do I get into this place, though? It's open. Thanks for the sign. Sam. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Can't take over these name of these freaking sunglasses. Uh, refundable hundred security deposit required on all reservation. No personal checks accepted. We take all my credit cards and bank cards. Check out ten a.m. No all the music, no pets. Hundred bucks, man. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on premises after nine p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. Or senior event. Ask about our discounts. Yes, thank you. It's me. And pictures of my wife. And I wear his this jacket. Obviously, been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy. Big stuffer him. and wine. My Cheetos and my wine. Good pairing. What do you recommend? I, I recommend a Pinot Gris. Could have fooled me, pal. <laughs> I got. Oh, there's more of them. Manuscript pages? Don't see none. All right, let's take this car. <laughs> Good throw, buddy. <laughs> My car. I was waiting for it to like pull me out like this was a GTA game. Completely missable that is. Granted, we didn't really gain anything. Jesus. Okay, is this the first time they've combined prop enemies with the car ride? Because that actually seems kind of scary. Nice drifting in the field. No consequences, just a little scratch on the paint. I guess we're not taking the vehicle any further. Okay. You overthrew that, buddy. Let me through. Oh, wait. Am I going this way? The heck was that? Oh, he hit the light and died. Okay. I thought I was going through the side because the front didn't look like I could get through. Or the checkpoint is what he hit and died. Get out of here, Ford. That's a different Ford. I don't think we've seen that one yet. They don't even make that car anymore, I don't think. Oh, shaky barrels. Oh, no. My nemesis. There's the deer. Do you see the deer in the background? It's stalking me. I oh, am. Yeah. Hide behind his fridge. Oh, no. The fridge is evil. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna die here. Okay, I fell through the bridge there. Oh man. I like how my stamina doesn't, uh. I don't know if it stays the way it was when I hit the checkpoint or what. The lame death. Can't do anything against these things. It's just. Yeah. Layers, I guess. That's why they're giving me one. Right? That's the deer float back there, right? It's freaking like taunting me. I need a bullet that's made out of- I can't move! That's not fair! Did I just throw a, a freaking flashbang off- Glad I died. <laughs> Ugh, that's annoying. Hey, there's a Taken all the way back there, you see that? He's like all the way back there. For some reason he didn't get deleted. When I stepped into checkpoint, I guess he's- the deletion's only close range. so weird to change weapons in this game.
Oh, that's that's that, that, what? Did they stop being close enough to get triggered by that flare? What the heck? What the hell? Calm down, parts of the bridge. I need to cross you. Get up, get up. Shiz. Oh crap, oh crap, right in front of me. Ow. Oh, come on! It's not the deer float. Did they try and make it look like the deer float? To taunt you? What the heck? Wish it was. Get out of here, refrigerator. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. I'm stuck on some. Oh, that my. I can't move. What the fuck? I didn't defeat it. Like, there we go. Very awkward sequence here. Nice oh, hey, another car. Too. Very awkward sequence there. Let's go. Take that. V8 power death. Oh, what? I'm stuck. Come on. Did I, what the heck am I stuck on? I'm stuck on literally nothing. What the heck? Oh, did that truck possessed? Yo, wait. Look at it. It's like a freaking cool rise up like monster truck. Coming after me, oh no. This is hilarious. This is... Alright, there we go. Not, not too fast. I want to hit this and make a jump. Jesus Christ, this car is so long. Why did they make this era of cars with such huge, you know, like... Front and back. Jesus. Price is like driving a boat. Oh, I can't go through here. <laughs> God, this game is so blurry all the time. Why isn't his light? Jesus. The truck. Cool. Can't see what's going on here. Oh well, there's one flare they put up here. Jeez. Finally made it rewarding to explore somewhere. Not finally, but still, like one flare. There's a checkpoint. Thanks. I'll take the truck now. Hopefully it drives better on these uh, dirt roads. Oh, it's a fast fella. Can he keep up with me? That'd be kind of funny if you just look back and there he is right behind you. I thought it was a manuscript page for a second. Keep the truck. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, no, bridge. Oh, no. 
goodness gracious. Oh, what the heck is going on? Oh, because I think it fell off overboard, so it's popping. Oh, weird. We're back on the foot. We're back on the foot. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll switch back to the, we'll switch to the pump action. Oh, I think the uh, break barrel one does more damage. Um, and therefore, I like it some more. Oh, crap. Goo. You almost got me, Goo. I think I've gone the whole game without uh, taking damage from you, except that one in that electrical box. That doesn't count, really. Bad guy's behind me. Can you explode quicker, please? God, that shit's useless. Oh, it's, it's a line about hiking, isn't it? Did I time that well enough? Yeah, I did. Oh, crap. Buddy, nice try. Nice try, darkness, creeping up behind me. Not today. Not today. I missed any? I haven't missed any, okay. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The Pretty metal sounding, isn't it? The bottom of the lake is a graveyard. The hull of an old boat here. The remains of a long ago crashed airplane there. Trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Back up, guys. Good. Now the truck is the same truck. Let's go. No, I'll say that. Oh fuck! The write off. Um, I will say, you know, this map area it does seem pretty long from a game of this area. area uh, this map, like the driving map, seemed pretty big for a game of this era. You know. Sale fifty percent off. We sell propane. They're breathing again. Can't trust the darkness, they say. Thanks, Cynthia. Can use some flares. Oh, there's something to read. Wait, where is it? This thing. All visitors must be see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. Or you pull it, you must bring your own tool. Wear protective clothing. Warning, junk piles may shift hazards. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I went to my local junkyard to find parts for my car once. That shit wasn't that good of a deal as they make it out to me. <laughs> Suck it. It was not had some caffeine. Oh, I guess I needed to come up here to press this button, huh? Tch. 
that was the summon bad guys button, apparently. Do you hate those in video games? The flare, that's nice. One downstairs somewhere. But he's downstairs, he can suck it. That opened the gate or something? It did. Let's take the junkyard guy's truck. Oh, no, no, don't come to life. Whoa, what's this fire? What the fudge is going on here? All right. Oh, that thing's coming alive. Okay. Keep our lights on it. We've already fought one of these before. I'll take that and that and that and the other thing. Oh, manuscript. I didn't even see it. Was there? Thomas Zane's last Zane drive. Cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings, sugar laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. Hmm. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Oh, okay. So he brought it down to the lake. Okay. Climb into the light. Alright, let's spawn this boss. Why are these changing the difficulties? <laughs> Completely unnecessary, consider. Now that light is on. Cool. Yeah, all right. Come alive yet? Not yet. Oh, I needed the button first. Let's back up our truck then. Oh, no. They don't need to hit the button first. I need to go towards the button. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't expecting this a boss fight in a vehicle. Dodged ya. Run over your own bad guys. Aha, suck it. Thank you, junkyard guys. Truck, you did a good job. Oh, shiz! <laughs> he missed. Oh, no, not that. Where's that button to press? Get back in my car. Are gonna take a while to load to move up, I mean, yeah. Am I supposed to fight that dude while that's happening? Maybe. Maybe in a different game. Get a cuts uh, check more in there. Maybe if I step into light myself outside of the truck. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're stopping here, folks. Trying to keep the episodes a consistent length. So that's it for now. We also kind of defeated like a boss. I uh, hope you're all enjoying the series. If you are, um, please subscribe. Daily uploads on this channel. New video every day, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Alternating let's plays. Those are gonna catch more of this. It'll be day after next. In the meantime, I'm playing something else tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to check it out. That's it for me today. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.